Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to create an array um, as a high modular relief set on a plane in a grid format. Um, we could use the cube, but I think for just the sake of variety, let's um, hit X and delete this. And I'm going to put a tetrahedron in here. So I'm going to say Shift A mesh and regular solid under math function and <clears throat> zooming in a little bit I'm going to then delete the faces and create um, a wireframe mesh using an array I mean I'm sorry a wireframe modifier so come over to the right here and click on the wrench and then click Add Modifier, and then Wireframe. And notice what happened here. Um, so I want to take the thickness up a little bit. So I'm scrubbing this value to the right a bit. And checking that out. Um, that's pretty nice. Maybe I'll go a little thicker. So that's point yeah, let's take it right up to point 0.1. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> okay, um, <clears throat> so let's see, zooming out, what we're going to do is create an array across of five of these and then four deep. And let's see how that's going to go. So let me move this slightly to the right here and then let me apply that thickening modifier and now I'm going to click add modifier again and click array and so over on the right here it's saying a relative offset and that the fixed count here is set to 2 and that it's creating these extra ones on the x axis <clears throat> So if I dial this up to 5, I guess I move this in the wrong direction. So bring it back to the center here. That looks pretty good. Um, I have an option of rotating this if I want it at this point. If I hit R, watch what happens. They're all going to rotate around that. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and finish this array out. Okay, so I'm going to apply that and hit number seven uh, on your number pad and uh, number five for ortho view and so what I'm going to do next is add another array modifier so click array and instead of on the x-axis um, let's put that at zero and enter and do it on the y-axis so one unit and instead of two let's go three four like that <clears throat> good so here's my camera uh, but before we set up the camera and the materials and the lighting let's uh, throw a plane under this so um, just moving to number one for the side view and I'm left clicking with put my 3D cursor here and going shift A mesh plane and then the letter S to scale it and the number six um, maybe that's good we'll scale it down a little bit enter um, hit number seven to go overhead and then S again and we'll scale this guy back a little bit S again. Um, that's pretty good. Okay. Now I want to hit number zero and take a look at this through the camera. And in order to navigate while we're looking through the camera, hit N on your keyboard, lock camera to view, N again and then I can um, pan and rotate and 
figure out how I want to look at this thing. Next, let's fix up the lighting. So I'm going to hit Lamp on the upper right in the Outliner. And, <clears throat> excuse me, let's hit the properties for the lamp. And before we go any further, go up to the top and where it says Blender Render, change that to Cycles Render. It's the much better render engine. Then we can click on Use Nodes. And I'm also clicking um, Sun. And I'll leave the size. I'm going to dial it backwards uh, to get a sharper shadow. And for strength, I'm going to give it 6 for starters. And then coming down here to the left, where it next to its object mode, I'm going to click this and go into Rendered for viewport shading. And what that'll do is give me a preview of how it's going to look when it's rendered. So the strength of the light is too much, obviously. So I'm going to click that and go down to 4, Enter. <clears throat> Maybe 3.5, so I'm just tweaking this a little bit till I get a nice description of light and shadow in here. 3. Um, there's another option too, is that we could reflect back some of the world uh, if we made the plane that it's sitting on a little gloss. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's see. Coming over here, I'm going to go back to Solid, right-click on the plane, click on the Materials Orb, click New, then click, instead of Diffuse, we're going to go to Glossy. And Roughness, um, 0.05, Enter. And let's take a peek again over here, next to Object Mode with Rendered. Okay, um, one other thing is the world. See, what's happening now is the glossy plane, which is mirror-like, is reflecting the darkness of the world and some of the light from the tetrahedron. So let me see what happens if I click on the world orb up here and make that lighter by dialing up the value on the right here and just seeing what I think. It's okay. Um, maybe what I'll do is make the tetrahedra glossy as well. So let's head back to solid, right click on the tetrahedra, click over on the materials tab, and new, and glossy, and I'm going to make them golden just by clicking the color and pulling this down into here, and roughness maybe 0.1. And I'm also going to round them up because if they're glossy, they'll reflect light better if they're rounded. So over on the left here, I'm going to click Smooth. And let me see what that did is if we zoom in. It created tubular structures instead of square ones. Well, somewhat rounded. Okay. So let's see what's happening now. I'm going to come back here to Object Mode Rendered. <clears throat> it's looking a little better. Uh, maybe we'll up the lighting a little bit, so I'm going to click Lamp and back take our strength up again uh, to some higher value. And I'm looking through the camera now, zooming out. Let me try upping the roughness on the plane, too. I think it's just a little bit too reflective. One more thing, then back to solid. Right-click on the plane. Take the roughness up to 0.2. Enter. And one more peak here, and rendered. That's better. Alrighty. So, find a...
nice view of this and try a couple of different points of view. You know, align them up this way, take an, a corner angle like this, maybe an overhead view. And as I zoom around also, see how the light is changing, um, which is really interesting to watch in real time here. Okay, and I'm going to hold down shift and pan this in a little bit. And zoom out just, well, I'm going to change over in the camera settings my X resolution. I'm going to make that a little bit taller. Bring up uh, the percent to 100%. Square this up, more or less. <clears throat> Take one more look at the world. That's a little more dramatic. And one last thing is to set up the render amount. So I'm clicking the camera, coming down to sampling on the right, and under render, put it at 250, enter, and click the second tab for the rendered layer properties, and click denoising. And now we're ready to render this baby. So hit F12, and I'm going to pause the video and show it to you on the other side. <clears throat> okay, there you have it. Um, that took about six minutes to render all together. Um, I didn't use my GPU compute, though, uh, which would have speeded things up. And <clears throat> hit F3 to save it as an image. So F3 and let's see, Tetra Array. Then hmm. click Save as Image and know where it's going so you can put it um, and browse to it to upload the image to the blog. <clears throat> um, okay, let me just show you one quick variation here. So I'm going to get out of uh, that and out of that. And actually, let me just go File New and start all over for a quick one. I won't narrate too much. Um, suppose I did use a cube. Um, I'm going to hit Modifier, Wireframe, Thickness. Let me zoom in so I can see here. Um, I may smooth it out again. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, number seven overhead and number five to get ortho view. And what if we were to rotate this now, um, let's say 45, and then apply that last thickening modifier solidify modifier and click array now okay that's what's going to happen <laughs> what i would need to do if i wanted to play um, in other ways is to add an empty in here and rotate the empty so let's just that's um, another video actually that i've already created on arrays so take a look at that and um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, that's it for now. Um, post your best images, couple of views, three views to the blog, and see you later.